Hey guys, CJ here with PBX How To's. Talk to you today about group paging. Kind of a cool feature. Um, what group paging does is it allows uh, users to make an announcement over a group of digital speakerphones. Now they have to be digital speakerphones, which is, for instance, for example, uh, 8410, 6416s, 2420s, those types of sets. You can't do it to analog phones because it comes over their speaker phones. So let's say you have a group of engineers that sit in a, sit in a pit or sit in a, sit in a little war room and the guys outside need to be able to page to all of them saying, hey, pizza's here, candy's here, soda's here, or come out to the front, you know, something. Um, that allows you to page that group and they're going to hear you. Now, some considerations with group paging. You can have up to 32 paging groups on one system or on one media server. Uh, each group can consist up to 32 extensions, and you can assign the same extension to different groups. So basically allowing to add more groups. So we're going to add one. Add group page uh, one. And we're going to say this one is 1009, group name, the pit. Actually, PBX, how to's the pit. Core. The reason you want to have cores on these things, class of restrictions, so that other people cannot group page. So you can set a class restriction to your to your group agents or your, your engineers, as well as um, some, maybe some of the other users who have access to this. But you don't want to have everybody have access to this because that extension can get out. All right. So add the extensions that are going to be part of this. And I've already... Uh, I've already pre-programmed them, so let me add them here. 1015, 1016, 1017. Oop, yep, sorry, I went to 1016. Okay, so boom, that's done. Display group one. So there you go, there's your group page. It's ready to go, it can be called. As long as everybody has the core of one, which right now everything in my system does. <laughs> so, but it can be called. So, you can tell people, hey, if you need to page these these engineers, dial 1009 and it's going to it's you're going to hear it ring and you're going to hear zip tone, which basically is a, is a tone. Start speaking after that tone. Otherwise, your whatever you're going to say is going to get cut off at the beginning if you don't wait for that tone. Okay? Here's also another way uh, to give people access to this. You can set this up in your abbreviated dial, abbreviate, I can't even say abbreviated dialing. What's my problem? I don't know. Anyway, abbreviated dialing list. You can set it on a personal, a system, or whatever. You can, uh, you can do an auto dial, 1009, so you can set a button to do it. But again, it, 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 there's ways for you to set up the numbers on, on specific stations. But as long as everybody knows that has access to that group page, to dial 1009 and it's going to group page those folks. Okay? Um, what else? Oh, some things to, to remember about group page. Display group 1. Oops. 1. 1. There. Uh, pages are not always heard on every telephone in a group. Um, and, and that happens based on if a phone is set to send all calls or do not disturb. Um, what else? Oh, if they're on a phone, if they're on a phone call, if, if for some reason that phone is not idle, uh, it's not going to get that page. So just, just be aware of that. Also, if you have an attendant who does a barge in on, on a group page, remember, everybody's going to hear it. Okay? So just be aware of that. Um, but other than that, pretty simple feature, really cool feature, depending on what your business does. But this allows me, as the head of the engineering group, to page them to let them know, hey, everybody in my office, you know, or hey, go get the pizza, it's at the door. <laughs> or hey, video game session, let's go. <laughs> anyway, sorry, I digress. So, uh, again, that's it for this one. I will be making more videos on, on the basics, but uh, kind of consider this like I'll be um, progressing into something big. You know, let's say building my company up. So I'm going to start with the basics and then kind of go into the advanced features of how I would build my fake company to be this full-fledged call center. Okay? So uh, don't forget to subscribe. Tell your colleagues, friends about this. And uh, hopefully uh, if you have any comments, please leave them. I will talk to you all later. Bye-bye.